What's up, collective? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Collective, I'm going to start this reading off with my haunted house deck. These are tarot cards, but I'm not a tarot reader. Okay. So please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. I am an intuitive reader. I use the cards to guide me. Okay. And I listen to my intuition. So, we just going to dive off into this. Somebody is trying to offer you something collective. This person is trying to offer you something, but at the same time, it's like they giving you shit, but they got you feeling some type of way of spend, spending your own money. Somebody is either trying to Put you in a spirit of fear or running. Okay, so we're showing the energy. Virgo flew out the hermit. Could be ghosting somebody or somebody could be ghosting you. The hermit is in reverse though. So I'm, from what I'm feeling, Collective, somebody wants you to be afraid of something, scared of something, running from something. Some of you is ghosting somebody because you feel like it's time for you. you need time to heal. It's like you're isolating yourself, pulling the swords out your back. It's the three of swords and the three of cups. Yeah, something broke your heart when it came to a third party situation. It's a witch in the mix. Okay, so just witch mix. Magic. So since they're talking about magic here, we got this witch that they came out here. We're gonna have to do some. She's in reverse though. This could be the person um, could have been involved with your heart being broke. This could be the third party situation. There's there's uh I see a Virgo out here. I see a Virgo out here. I see an Aquarius out here. It's earth, air, and water. Okay. So, clarify this moment for me, Holy Spirit. A lot of emotions from this Virgo energy. This is a cup. It's going to be emotions with the color red out here. Someone has. It's a Virgo energy out here, or you could be ghosting somebody. It has a lot of um, emotions for you. But somebody broke your heart, collective. Give me more Holy Spirit. Clarify, who is this witch? Who is this witch? For shadows, but it's in reverse, just like she is. So she been doing some sort of, you know, looking and going to the library. You know where they had them old ass ancient books, where you have to blow the dust off of. That's what this witch is doing. 
She's doing dark shit. She's trying to cloud your judgment. The bell, the bat, the book of shadows, and the chalice. This, this, uh, witch is, is doing, you know, necromancy, candle magic, and ancient spells. Some of you just need to get a bell. You know you see the readers ringing the bells. Maybe you need to ring the bell to run the spirits away or you need to ring the bell to for the to alarm and alert your spirit guides that you need help. Okay. But it's it's like uh somebody could be around you and they, they try to they're coming back to see if their spell work is working. And it's not firing. Mm -hmm. They tried to, they wanted to do suicide spells on you. Okay? It's backfiring. You see that, you see that, the, the, uh, hand, the, the sword could be dealing with, I mean, it's Ace of Swords too. It's a breakthrough, but I don't read tarot. Okay? What I see here, um, Someone, you know, is trying to fuck with your mental clarity, make want you to kill yourself. They're doing they're doing spell work to make you kill yourself or have the energy of suicide on you. Okay? And with this third party and this three of swords out here, this witch is the person who your person was fucking with. Okay. But all the shit that she's doing is backfiring on. You see that fire behind her back? She in the hot seat. She may have a lot of emotions for your person. Turn it on, still. It's the reverse. This is how she wanted you to be feeling. She been throwing spell work at you. That's the ace of, um, I mean, I don't read tarot, so I'm not going to try to read it like tarot. Somebody wanted you to be stressed and worried, okay? Somebody wanted you to be losing sleep, all right? Somebody wanted you to be stuck in one place and not able to just move, not get up and get out in the day. They wanted you to be in the energy of staying home. Feeling suicidal, like nobody loved you and nobody cared. This is how they was throwing the, the spell work. They're reading it. It's like they writing some shit down and quoting it out. Motherfuckers. It's like the it, these motherfuckers. Ooh. They they it's like they're I feel like they're they got a fucking book. And they doing necromancy. They fucking with skulls and shit. Okay? And that's because this person, she, she's the third party, or you may be the third party, but they expected for you to be losing sleep. They broke your heart. And I guess uh, this third party ain't is mad because you're not broken hearted over her. She's upset that you're not trying to compete with her or try to, you know, like fight her over the man. Fuck that. Not the fight over the motherfucker. With all these billions of people out here coming all shapes, sizes, forms, and colors. And you think I'm a stress about one person? Who does that? So this is this energy, whoever it was that slept with your person, they wanted you to be jealous of. That's what it is. It's, they wanted you to be jealous. 
They wanted you to be stressed. But you've got an inner clarity about it. You have a deep knowing. They wanted your judgment clouded. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me about the, the this third party situation. Tell me about the third party situation. Passion, inspired action, impulsive, charming, not a wand's energy, something he's hiding. Four of Cups energy. <coughs> Not a Wands. And Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands and Nine of Wands. Four of Cups. I see somebody, you know, trying to offer you a cup. You're dissatisfied, you're dissatisfied. Some of you is getting a, this is an offer from the universe and you're not accepting it. And there's also the energy of somebody doing spell work over your home. Okay. <clears throat> this is this character witch. And it, and it, it kind of makes me feel like <clears throat> that this masculine energy, you know how, oh, um, I'm going to just put it to you like this. Where it's showing magic out here as these two, as your masculine and this um, karmic who they're sleeping with, the spell work they're doing is the motherfucking pillow talk. They talking about you after they have sex. Now the karmic should, you know, even though she, like, why would you be talking about the divine feminine regardless if she's mad or whatever? If he's still mad and he's still talking, that means he ain't got over you. Just like Medea say, if 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 you if all of that and you're still doing it, you ain't over. So, this person is not over you, collective. Everything they did is backfiring. Everything they're doing is backfiring. Okay. The witch is drawing an evil eye. So you need to get you uh, some eagle eye bracelets. Protect your energy. Okay. <coughs> get you an amethyst. Get you a black obsidian. Get you a black onyx or a black tourmaline. All of those black ones that I just named are great for spell work to protect you from, you know, negative shit. Because... A person don't have to be sitting there um, burning candles, sprinkling powder, and like you see a Beetlejuice, he's sprinkling man head and his head shrink and all of that. Those things can happen, but somebody can be just talking shit. And that's what a lot of, you know, I mean, now people is actually out here doing the spell work because the internet's out here teaching these dumb motherfuckers how to do shit. It's just like they, they're taking this witchcraft like motherfuckers in science class. You know the science people, the ones that flunked, the ones who never, who they got shit fucked up, they damn near burnt up the place or blew some shit out. That's these motherfuckers doing this spell work. 
the experimenting motherfuckers that ain't got no sense, they can't read, they don't understand foreign shit, that type of language, they don't know what chakras and healing and all of them type of words mean, but they funneling around with something they don't know what the fuck they mean. Trying to cause chaos and conflict in your life. For you to be in a maze. But you are amazing. You're amazing, baby. Okay? Yeah, you're amazing because this is what they wanted you to be like. Having anxiety attacks. Uh, sleepless nights. Crying over them and shit. Oh, I want the collective to cry. Fuck. Oh, Here's a black widow. In reverse. And that's the that's that's uh this person. This person is 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 mad. All this goddamn red out here. Now that red could represent that they in the hot seat. This red could represent um, this shit backfiring on them. Divine family collective, you might as well go on and, and, and get your blunt. I'm not sitting here just smoking mine back to back. I mean, just straight. I can't do that. But I'm hitting it and then, you know, I hit it to get a, a good um, intuition boost. That's why I can't smoke. Now I'm in California. Now if you ain't in California, you don't know about the, the, the California weeds. It's that Snoop Dogg shit. Yeah. It's real shit. Look at this. Look at this. I may have to put a hashtag in here. And this is what I got left. This was this whole bag was full, but look how big the bud is. I like big bugs. And this is some stinky, spunky, sticky, icky. Look at that. And the whole little bag had big bugs like this. So this is my last little bug. It ain't little either. Look. Look how big this bud is. Third eye. It, it, it helps your third eye. So smoke some. Okay. I'm smoking. I ain't getting to talk about the weed, but yeah, they gave me some free shaking shit. My little shop is cool. I can go in that motherfucker with forty dollars and come out with some fire. Okay, so tell me why is this person upset? Cause you got the key. You got the key to something, or you could have found out this person was was um what they was cheating with somebody else and you got the key to the situation lightning which is bottle King of Cups energy. Why is this person mad? Because the the, the collective don't. Oh, because they candle magic ain't working. <laughs> oh, so they mad because the candle magic ain't working. Uh huh. Uh, 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 masculine energy was trying to be deceptive 
Okay, Seven of Swords. It was trying to be sneaky and get away with something. For somebody, um, this person, if they know where you at, while you sleep, they could be doing some shit by your window at night. Trying to make it, is, is somebody doing some shit by somebody's window to make them um, have anxiety? Like somebody could be doing stuff around your window. Make you think they, well, they could be doing, throwing some spell work around your window. But I feel like it's somebody out there that's, that's um, either like, what are they doing around the window? What are they doing around the window? And why is this witch's bottle here? What are they doing around the window? Put salt around your doors and windows, okay? Put salt around your windows, your window seals, around your front door and your back door. Burn some, burn some, uh, if you don't have no sage or no Palo Santo, get you, just get you some bay leaves. You can get that at your local grocery store in Burbank. Burn some bay leaves. Look up the spiritual healing properties of bay leaves, okay? I guess they don't want to tell me nothing else from that there. What is the deception and who is what's going on around this window at night? Somebody's doing something secretive or something deceptive around the collective window. Somebody could be doing something on a full moon. Take spiritual baths. You know, continue to cleanse your energy by taking spiritual baths. If you don't, um, you know, don't know what a spiritual bath is. As many ways you can take a spiritual bath. Um, if you don't have all the essentials to just to take a quick spiritual bath and you just need to get some energy off of you, you could just go to the beach. If you live close to a beach, now I know that shouldn't have been my first thing, but I said that because I live in Long Beach. So we can go straight to the beach and just jump in the water. And I don't do it because that water too cold. But if you like getting in the ocean water, you can go to the beach and you basically like praying and walking into the water and when you come out of that water you are you're claiming the victory you're claiming all the good things it's like you walking in as you see in the water as as it's being sucked in you're 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 releasing you understand you're throwing all of your problems into that water and you're releasing okay and you come out a clean spirit okay and if you, you don't go to the beach, you just take a regular bath and put a half a cup of table salt, sea salt, Himalayan salt, pink salt, whatever you want to call it, salt. And um, light your white candle. Okay, light your white. What I'm telling you is, is, is it came out. Because here's somebody trying to, you're not protected. You don't know about spiritually protecting yourself. You don't know about the healing and transformation. Not everybody, that's not for everybody, but you know, it's somebody in here. You don't know, and you have somebody right here. This energy sexual energy vampire. And this person, see with all these colors around him, this purple right here, this red. This is the, the um, he's trying to, to drain your chakra. Your, your, your crown chakra energy. And this red right here has to do with your root chakra, okay? And this yellowish gold has something to do with your, your solar plexus. Your solar plexus, solar plexus chakra and your sacral, okay? And this, this is purple too. And see, this is the energy vampire sex, okay? So when you have sex with this person, 
they they uh they drain your energy. If you notice when you're intimate with this person, you get real sleepy. You think it's a good thing that you that they put you to sleep or they had you sleeping. And, oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, they put it down on me and everything, but at the same time, they they stole your energy. Okay, and that can go both ways. So you have an energy vampire around you that's still stealing your energy through sex. Okay, and some of you either um, haven't healed from that or some of you need to learn to heal from it. Um, this person could be, they doing candle magic. Now, this is, it's, it's a lot of energies out here. But the overall energy is somebody who your your person was in a third party with is throwing magic at you because they wanted you to be like in competition with them or broken hearted. You know, I just see see a, a, a energy like sticking their tongue out like na 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 that type of energy like some childish ass shit and um, it's like. This person could either be sexually draining your person or your person could be sexually draining you. But it's a sex energy vampire out here. Okay. And somebody, their their third party is upset because their spell work is not working on you collected. Okay. Some of them even maybe with this witch's bottle out here. Maybe some of you need to make your witch's bottle. You know you can make them. You don't have to buy everything. You can make shit, okay? You can have a, a, a you can make a make a witch's bottle. Look it up. You can make a um I ain't gonna go through all that, but basically you see the nails and, and whatever else they got inside of there, you can put money in it. It's it's like a little spiritual safe key thing um or this could mean that somebody could have a witch's bottle with your name in it you and your person's name in it or they could have somehow um dropped you and your person down in this bottle a picture of y'all they got out they stole offline and they could have um i don't mean to talk so loud i forget to say one here but they they could have took a like screenshot of your picture and printed out put it down in this could burn some shit, piss in it, shit in it, you know. Or this could be this could mean that you need to protect yourself from that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, so spirit, what is the uh, what is the advice for the What is the advice? I'll let you see that I am shuffled. I'm not <clears throat> just picking cards, playing. This is where you are healing gracefully and beautifully. This is when you wasn't. This is when you wasn't showing love to yourself. But see, with her dress being blue, that means you either spoke out to somebody about something or you saw something in somebody which allowed you to heal. You saw somebody for who they truly are and you spoke it to them and you healed from it, okay? If not, see, you healed. This is not healing. Maybe the person you're dealing with is not healing, okay? Whatever this is, this the end, whatever it is, End of this reading. No more mind games and manipulation. No more sadness and feeling weak. No more you keeping me from growing, stunting my growth and all of that shit. You have knowledge. You know what this person is trying to do. You got shit all rooted up in your head. All you need to do is take this mask off and walk through that door that's in front of you. You got the key right here. 
and a lock to a situation, okay? These two books right here to me represent you have knowledge of, of, of spell work, you have knowledge of um, the occult and all of that, okay? Hidden things. And this is you, you, you mainly focus on your heart and either seeing, okay, with your third eye. That's the color of the, the heart of the uh, third eye chakra. So it's like you have personal knowledge of this and you're growing with it. And you have a key in a lock, to, you have the key, any situation to get yourself out of, to that door with that light back there, okay? So I'm gonna stop right there because they spell work or whoever this energy is, this witch right here, in reverse, this devil energy, she's just dark. Look, throwing spell work over your house, she in reverse. This witch may be like a skinny, like a salamander, okay? And she's mad with all of this red out here. Look at the red. Look at the red, look at the red, look at the red. And see, it could be her. She could be, if it's your husband who she's dealing with or something, she could be trying to poison your husband to be a black widow or have you to be a widow, okay? She could have been trying to put something in your drink. Somebody could have had put something in your drink like at a party, so be careful. This may have already tried that already happened and, and um, it's in reverse. It's a three of cups, but look how it is on this three of cups. This is like somebody drowning and they party and they ain't even paying attention. So some of you be careful. Somebody could give you a drink or something and trying to unalive you, okay? Black Widow, they could be trying to unalive you. Because they see you got growth all in your head. It grows through your body. It's rooted in you. That's why when they try to offer you something, you're like, I don't want that shit. And it's not, you're not saying this to the Holy Spirit. You're saying this to your to your karmic person, to that person, to your masculine, because his uh his karmic, whoever she is, this witch, that's third party. You ain't broken heart, you done got over it, you pulled the swords out. Three of swords in reverse. And yes, I write on these cards because they're tarot and I'm not a tarot reader. Okay, but see this is how they wanted you. Deep hurt and pain, depressed and shit, but you pulling the swords out. So I'ma stop right there, collect it. If this reading resonated with you, or if I helped you in any kind of way, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. All right, peace out.